So, I'm Guido de Kroon. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Delft in the Microair Vehicle Lab. And I'm here at IROS to present the project we did with the European Space Agency. And it's the first crowdsourcing experiment with real robots. So we made a game for the Ferret AR drone that people can just download, either on Android or on iOS. And they can then play this game uh, on their smart device with their AR drone. And our interest was to have people gather visual data for us. So we wanted them to approach obstacles. And while they did, we wanted to store images and then process these things and send them to our database. So we made a game in which uh, people have to uh, dock to the International Space Station in the first level. In the second level they have to approach the comet uh, as in the Rosetta mission of the European Space Agency. It's slightly more intense because you have to avoid debris on the way and you have to launch a lander. So it's a very nice level. But uh, So we released this game last year. And the fun thing was that this project was as much about game design, testing and release as it was about experimental design and the difficult thing was to align all these things. So we released last year and I'm here to present the results. After one year we have 20,600 downloads and we have 1,500 uploads. So that's much more than we hoped for in the beginning. Uh, and yeah, it has been uh, a great experience. We're now into the data analysis. Also there, it's, yeah, it's pretty funny to see uh, how it's different from other experiments. We don't control the setting at all. So some people actually play the game. Some other people just use the opportunity to look at the International Space Station from all the sides. So if we want to do data analysis without ground truth, we can just do that, clustering, for example. If we want the ground truth, which in our case was the distance to the obstacle, then actually we have to down-select uh, this, uh, this data. And uh, well, I would say to you all of you who have an AR drone, please check it out. Go to the Google Play or go to the iTunes store, download it, play it, and uh, let us have your feedback. We will try to uh, further improve it. Okay, thank you.